What's up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. I can't stop looking down at the uh, monitor because the glitter is just like, whew, it's doing something for me right now. So yes, as you would have seen by the title, this is a New Year's Eve extra glam as f makeup look, although you don't have to wait till New Year's to wear this. You can wear this any time of the year. I just feel like on New Year's Eve, like that's the time where you can really go crazy with the glitter. Although this look isn't too crazy, like it's pretty standard. I feel like it's a look you could wear with pretty much any outfit. But yeah, I really do hope you guys like it. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button below so you don't miss any more videos I post. And with that being said, let's get into it. All right, guys, so first things first, I am going to do my base first. I know I'm gonna be working with glitter and I'm probably going to regret this later because I really should be starting with the eyes, but I don't know, your girl is feeling a little bit risky. So we're gonna go in with primer. Today I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Instant Retouch Primer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to my face with the Real Techniques Stippling Brush. Now onto foundation today, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. I did actually do a first impression on this foundation, so I'll leave a link for it up top as well as in the description box for you guys if you wanna check it out. But yes, I'm gonna be using this today. So the shade that I am using is number 34, Soft Bronze, and I'm just going ahead and dotting that onto my face and then blending it into the skin with a dampened Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. As you guys can probably tell, this foundation is super full coverage. Like, it's insane how much coverage it gives you. Like, my skin is looking so flawless as I apply it. And when you're doing an extra glam look like this, you definitely want your base to look super flawless. All right, next up, we're gonna hit up my face with some color corrector. I have here the Ellie Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in Peach Corrector. You guys who are OG subbies, you know all about this. I love to color correct to really brighten up the face and just make it completely flawless. So once all the color corrector is blended in, I'm gonna go over top with some concealer today. I'll be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because this baby is full coverage, which is exactly what you want for a look like this. So my one is in the shade Light Medium Honey, and as you can see, I'm just dotting this underneath my eyes, and I'm also gonna go and apply it to any other areas of the face that I want to kind of like highlight and brighten up. So down the bridge of my nose, above my brows and on my chin. And once again, I'm going back in with the dampened Miracle Complexion Sponge to blend it into my skin. I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and set all that concealer in place. I'm using the Astralis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder in True Translucent. I love this stuff. Like I don't even have to say it twice because I use this in pretty much all my videos. So. You guys already know how it is, like I'm obsessed. And then for the rest of my face, the Benefit Hello Flawless Pressed Powder in Petal. I'm gonna go ahead and use that to set the other areas that I have not yet set with any powder and I'm using the Sigma F30 Large Powder Brush. Alrighty, so I'm gonna get started on the eyes now. First of all, I'm gonna prime them with the NYX Eyeshadow Base in Skin Tone. I'm just using the Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush to apply that all over my lids, right up to the brows. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and set it with some more translucent powder, just to make sure that we have a really nice, smooth base to apply the shadows to. So for today's look, I am going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette it and if I can get her open I'm gonna be taking this shade first of all right here this is creamsicle and I'm just using the Zoeva 221 luxe soft crease brush I'm gonna go ahead and really apply that to my crease running it back and forth through that area and blending it out as I go I seriously love this shade it's probably my favorite shade in the entire palette I don't know what it is but it just Makes me feel some type of way, you know? Next up, I'm just gonna be going in with the shade right here called Pukey. This is just a little bit darker than that previous Creamsicle shade. And I'm going to run this in the same area as I did with Creamsicle, but I'm really going to use it to define the crease a little more. 
So the brush that I'm using is the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. And yeah, as you can see, I'm just running this back and forth right in that crease to further define the eye. So I'm liking how that's looking so far, but I kind of want to add a little more to it as well. So I'm going to be going in with this shade right here. This is called Roxanne. As you can see, it's kind of like a matte, dark, rich, orange, brown, earthy tone. I don't know how to describe it, but that's what I'm going to be putting into the crease as well. So this time I'm using the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer. And I'm just going to go ahead and run that right through the crease once again, just to add a little more color and definition to the area. Next up, I'm going to go onto the outer corner of my eyes with this shade right here. This is Mocha. And I'm just using the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. And as you can see, I'm pretty much just applying that to the very outer the corners of my eyes and kind of like dragging it in towards the lid and a little bit onto the crease. So next up I'm going to go back in to my concealer and I'm going to use this brush. I always forget the name. It's the Sigma F70 concealer brush. Now if you want to do any kind of like cut crease look, you need a brush like this. I'm telling you guys that like this is what you need. So I'm just going to go ahead and coat the brush in the concealer and essentially cut my crease with the concealer. So I'm just going to go ahead and pack it on and kind of apply it where I think the crease would be cut. And then what I like to do is look straight forward and it kind of gives you a template and a guide as to where the cut of the crease exactly is. It's so hard for me to explain this. Every single time I do this in a video, I'm like, how do I explain this in a way that you guys can understand? Pretty much just watch what I'm doing and you can get the idea of how it works. Next up for the glitter, I have to admit, I'm having a really hard time deciding which one I wanna use. So I have two different glitters here. As you can see, they are different and I don't know which one I wanna use. So I have the Eye Candy Cosmetics Gold Glitter in Candy Coin. Candy Coin, that's a funny name. And also a Lychee Exo Glitter in Rose Gold. But Mm, I don't know, I can't decide which color I want to use. So I think I'm going to go in with the rose gold one first. If I don't like it, then we may add this on top. This is what happens, guys. Like, I don't always exactly know what I'm going to do when I do these looks. I just have like a vision in my mind. And then I kind of just paint it on my face. And how it turns out is how it turns out. So I apologize, but that is exactly how it just like, it is what it is. So I don't think the glitter is going to exactly stick onto the concealer that I have on my lids, even though it's not set or anything, it's pretty much like dried down at this point. So I have here the Eye Candy Cosmetics Liquid Sugar, which is essentially a glitter adhesive. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that in small sections to each of my lids one at a time because that is what is going to give you the best um, application of glitter, is if you just work at it slowly, don't go crazy with it and try and pack it all on in one go. You just have to take your time, be patient and apply slowly. Alrighty, so now that I've got the glitter on and it's pretty much dried and set in place, I'm gonna go back into the mocha shade that I used for the outer corner of my eyes and kind of just touch up that area and work at the edge where the glitter meets the shadow to kind of blend the two together. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself a winged liner now. I'm using the NYX Matte Black Liquid Liner. Obviously I wanted to use a matte black liquid liner just because, you know, there's so much shimmering glitter going on on the lids. You want to keep the liner nice and crisp and matte. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. Give myself a big ass wing. The wings are done. Now I can work on getting rid of this fallout. I know some of you guys have been watching like, girl, what are you going to do with a like little fallout? Well, I have my tape and what I'm going to do, this is just like a little trick that I like to do when I get any type of fallout on my face is I take the tape and I just pick up the glitter. Oh my gosh, that's so easy. Do you see that? Like it just comes off so easily and it doesn't even disturb your foundation or whatever. Oh, get these chunks of glitter off my face. Easy peasy. So I'm gonna go back into the creamsicle shade and I'm using the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader. I'm using the edge of this just to really smoke it out along my bottom lash line because I'm pretty much just going to mimic what is going on on the crease on my bottom lash line. Then I'm just gonna go back into the Roxanne shade 
and I'm using the Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil Brush. Once again, running this along the bottom lash line and blending it and smoking it out as I go. I'm also just gonna continue to use the same brush and I'm going back into the Mocha shade and I'm using that to run along my bottom lash line once again, just to kind of like darken it up and match what's going on on the lid as well. So for my inner corner and brow bone, of course, I am going to go into, here she is right here, this is Beam. And I'm using the Sigma E30 pencil brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to the inner corners of my eyes, as well as my brow bone. You know how it is, I like to add a little bit of something to those areas so that's what I'm doing. So next up I'm going in with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Liner Pencil and yes I'm going to line and tight line my eyes. Those of you guys who watch me regularly you know that I barely put like black liner on my eyes. I don't know why when I was younger I used to do it all the time but I don't know I feel like if you want to darken up a look and just make it extra dramatic then black eyeliner is the way to go. This is probably why I never line my eyes with a pencil liner because my eyes, they water so much. I'm also just going back in with that brush I used along the bottom lash line and I'm just smoking out that liner just a little bit to kind of, you know, make it look a little bit more sultry. Alrighty, time for mascara and all that good stuff. So I'm just giving my lashes a quick curl and then I'm going in with the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Since I will be going in with some falsies, I'm going pretty heavy on the bottom lashes but a little lighter on the top. Um, just because you don't really need to apply too much mascara to the top lashes when you are applying falsies over top. So now for false lashes, I'm going pretty dramatic today. I'm using this style from Dodo Lashes. Um, they're called D309. And yeah, they're very dramatic. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply those today. I'm using the House of Lashes Lash Adhesive in black to do so. Alrighty, so the eyes are finally done. Now I can finish off the rest of my face. I'm going to go in with the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Contour Kit by Chloe Morello, or in collaboration with Chloe Morello, yep. So I'm going to take this shade right here down the bottom, and I'm using the Models Prefer Contour Brush, so I'm going to go ahead and contour my face with that just around my jawline and also my cheekbones. And then I'm using the eye shading brush from Look Good Feel Better to contour my nose. Let me just also say that this contour powder, like this whole palette is so crazy pigmented. It's insane. Now to bronze up my face, I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer. This bronzer though is so good. So I'm using the Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush. I'm running that over my cheeks and around the perimeters of my face. And like literally, just watch the face transform. Like bronzer really changes everything, I swear. So for blush, I'm keeping it pretty simple. I'm just going in with a little bit of the Tarte Exposed Blush. This is their Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to the apples of my cheeks with the Real Techniques Blush Brush. I'm actually gonna be trying this out for the first time today. I bought a few Ofra highlighters recently and I have this one here. This was part of the Nikki Tutorials collaboration. So this is the shade Glow Goals. And let me just, uh, I could just stare at it. Like, look at that, it's so pretty. So this is gonna be my first time using it today and I'm, I'm calm. Yeah, I'm calm. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I think I applied a little too much. I went a bit crazy. Just a little bit. I get really excited um, when it comes to highlighters. Like, oh, they make me feel some type of way. So I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighter Brush, and I'm going to go ahead and continue to apply that highlighter to the rest of my face. I'm going to line my lips. I have here the MAC Lip Liner in Strip Down. This is actually one of my favorite lip liners just because it applies so easily and it's like the perfect nude. Like you could you literally use it with any nude lipstick. So speaking of nude, I am of course going to be going in with a nude liquid lipstick. So I have here one of the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks in Bow and Arrow. I hope this color looks okay with this look. We shall see. Ooh, yes, I like it. Good choice, Lizelle, good choice. I actually really like how that looks. Like, yes, I picked the right color for the look. So I'm gonna go on top with a little bit of lip gloss. This is the Astralis Luxe Lips 
pigmented lip gloss in Eiffel Tower. All right, guys, so this is the final look. I'm obsessed. The glitter is just, uh, it's everything I wanted and more. So if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're still here at the end watching and you are not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the little red subscribe button before you go so you don't miss any more videos that I post. As usual, I will list all the products that I use throughout the video down in the description box below where you can also find all the links to my social media accounts. So if you guys want to keep up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, yeah, that's all I have. I always forget what I have. Um, but yeah, I'm on Snapchat a lot, so add me on Snapchat. But anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. I'll talk to you all in the comments, and I'll see you all in my next video.